So in this video, I'm reviewing how the Highboy C1 folding electric bike rides. And I did make a video going over the specifications and build of the C1, and I've put the link to that video in the description. But just to give a quick overview of the C1, it has a 350 watt rear hub motor, 14 inch wheels, front suspension, and the handlebar folds make it easier to store or put inside your car. So riding the C1 is one of the most unique experiences I've ever had riding bicycle. It does take a little bit used to the seating position, but the crazy part is, is that it's actually pretty comfortable. The reach is longer than it looks, and at 5'10", I never felt cramped. The one part that does take a little bit to get used to is the narrow handlebars, which makes the bike turn directions extremely well. But at higher speeds, if you ride with one hand on the bars, it does feel slightly twitchy. The most surprising part is the power of the bike itself. I was expecting a very slow bike that had minimal power, but the bike is actually more powerful than it looks. With its 48 tooth crank set and 22 tooth cog in the back, the bike pedals run comfortably around 13 miles an hour or so. And it's not to say that it can't go faster, it's just that after 13 miles an hour, your legs are pedaling pretty fast due to the gearing. But even though the bike does pedal pretty good, I think that most people are going to be riding the C1 around with throttle only electric mode, which the bike does great and it cruises around the top seat at 20 miles an hour like nothing. And I spent a majority of my testing using only the throttle, and during that time, I was able to get about 18 to 20 miles out of the battery. So the C1 has a claim range of 21.7 miles in throttle only mode. So the fact I was able to get between 18 and 20 in the real world is pretty great. And just for reference, I weigh about 175 pounds. And when testing, I never use the eco mode. I either use level two or three with speeds ranging between 15 and 20 miles an hour. And speaking of assist modes, the C1 has three of them, eco, D, and S. The Eco mode goes about 9.3 miles per hour, the D mode goes about 15 and a half miles per hour, and the S mode goes to 20 miles per hour. The bike has more than enough power for everyone, and most importantly, it doesn't just have enough power to cruise around, it also has the ability to tackle hills. Alright, uh, here we go, hill climb test. We're going in a hill in my neighborhood, we're doing level 3, and from past tests it's about a 12 to 13% incline. Let's see how this goes. So we cruise along about 10 miles an hour. Not too bad, not too bad at all. One bad part about this bike is that the seat post is a little on the short side. So someone, so someone like me where I would like to see a little bit higher just to get more torque out of the legs. But honestly, not that bad. 10 miles an hour, cruising up that pretty easy. Like I said, it's only about 12 to 13% and we're done. So, so like I said, it's only about 12 or 13% and this bike claims up to 20, I believe. I think you could probably do it based on that. That was pretty easy. So there you go. Next, I wanna see how good this bike stops. So for this test, I stopped from all the distances from all three speed levels. First was from Eco, which is 9.3 miles per hour which the C1 did in five and a half feet. Next was from level D, which is 15.5 miles per hour, which the C1 stopped in nine feet. And last was from S, which is 20 miles an hour, which the C1 did in an impressive 12 and a half feet. And the bike actually had much better braking than I was expecting. And I think it's pretty good for a bike with mechanical disc brakes. After doing the braking tests, I decided to check out the acceleration. Acceleration test at top speed of 20 miles per hour using throttle only. Ready and go. 10, 15, 20. So here's the final results of the throttle only acceleration test. The C1 got up to 10 miles per hour in 3.3 seconds, 15 miles per hour in 6.1 seconds, and 20 miles per hour in 11 seconds. The C1 may not be a speed demon, but it does provide very smooth, comfortable acceleration experience. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with this little bike. Is it the most powerful electric bike? No. Is it the fastest electric bike? Absolutely not. But to me, this is the perfect bike for a college student, for RV campers, or does anyone who wants to smile ear to ear without breaking the bank? And the C1 gets back to the basics of riding. 
And not only is one of the funnest bikes I've ever ridden, but this bike turns heads like no other. In fact, there were numerous times while riding this bike where I'd be passing someone and they would just wave and smile. So I'm very happy with this bike. It's affordable, it looks futuristic, has good range, and most importantly, it's a ton of fun to ride. The C1 is just an absolute hoot to cruise around on. And of all the bikes I've ever tested, this bike turns the most heads and I get questions about it almost every single time I take it out. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great one.